Welcome to Drum LCK. My name is John, and today we're going to take a look at five of my favorite Lars Ulrich drum fills. Let's go. All right, so right off the bat, it's important to acknowledge the fact that Lars is a bit of a hot topic in the drum community. A lot of people like to debate whether he's good or not. That is an absolutely absurd question in my mind, but we're not talking about that today. Today is all about learning some cool drum fills, so let's go. All right, so let's kick it off with a killer fill from my favorite song off of the Black Album, and that's Of Wolf and Man. First thing you want to do is take a look at the sheet music. Specifically, let's take a look at the first measure. Now, beats one, two, three, and four are your typical eighth note kick, snare, kick, snare rock pattern. But there is a snare pickup note on the uh after beat four. This is going to help flow into the next measure. That's going to sound just like this. Now let's take a look at the second measure. First thing I want you to notice is the fact that beats one and two right here are exactly the same. And they go snare, snare, tom, tom, snare, snare, tom, tom. Now beat three can look a little confusing if you're not used to reading sheet music, but it's just telling you that there are four 32nd notes and two 16th notes. And that should sound like this. And finally, we have beat four, which is another four 16th notes, which are floor tom, floor tom, snare, snare. Although it's not written in the sheet music, the downbeat of the next measure is a bass drum with a crash. So let's do that as well. And this is what both measures should sound like when played back to back. Now that you know the fill, let's take it together at the actual tempo of the song, which is 120 beats per minute. Notice right here, this is going to tell you for each fill where exactly in the song that fill is. Next up, we have one of the many fills of the fan favorite, For Whom the Bell Tolls. All right, let's take a look at the sheet music. And our first measure here is just our simple, basic rock groove, kick, snare, kick, snare, quarter notes, one, two, three, and four. Now, we put this measure in here just to help you kind of practice the next measure to help with your timing. All right, so this fill is super popular because... You're going to be able to use this one on, on multiple gigs, multiple songs, however you want to do it. Um, 16th note triplet based, which is awesome because everything kind of grooves really well in triplets. So take a look at beat one, which is just kind of running down the drums in our first three triplets, going snare, rack, floor. And then we have two 16th note kicks followed by a snare and a crash. This phrase should sound something like this. And beats two and three are exactly the same. Put it all together and it should sound something like this. All right, now let's take this one together at tempo at 118 beats per minute. All right, next up, we have two fills from one song. That's it's, it's one. I don't know if you got that. All right, first, let's take a look at that machine gun snare fill that happens multiple times throughout the song. This one is four measures long, but don't worry, because there's only two unique phrases throughout the entire thing. Our first phrase consists of seven notes. That's two full eighth note triplets, followed by a single quarter note. This phrase is going to be played five times throughout these four measures. The second phrase in this fill is on beats three and four of the second measure, which consists of three eighth note triplets and a single quarter note. Put it all together and it should sound something like this. All right, 
now that you have it down, let's take it together at full speed at 222 beats per minute. Now let's move on to the second big fill in one. All right, so this one is very similar to the one we just learned, but this one gets more drums involved. Take a look at our first seven notes. You'll notice that they're exactly the same as our last fill. We finish the fill up with five whole beats of a triplet fill. Our first six triplets are on the snare. Our next six triplets are on the rack tom. Now beat four in this fill tends to give a few people some problems just because you're gonna be playing it right, left, right, which leads to a left hand downbeat on the crash and kick. Now let's take it together at full speed at 222 beats per minute. Our next fill comes from one of the hardest Metallica songs to play on the drums, and that's Saint Anger. Just kidding, it's battery. All right, let's look at the first measure, and specifically I want you to take a look at this one note right here. Now, if you play double bass, you're gonna play this, these three notes as right, left, right, or right, right, left, whichever's easiest for you. If you don't play double pedal like me, we're gonna get rid of this note right here, which would make the first and second section exactly the same, but we'll get to that. Now, the reason you're not gonna be able to do this if you don't have a double pedal is because realistically it's three 16th notes in a row at 192 beats per minute, and it's not impossible, it's just not easily attainable. All right, we're gonna break beat one down in this grouping of five notes. First is an eighth note flam on the snare, followed by three 16th note triplets, which start on the snare, move to the rack tom, and end on the kick. The downbeat of beat two is an eighth note kick. That's gonna sound just like this. Now for our non-double pedal players, remember our next group of five is exactly same as the first group of five, and our double pedal players are gonna add this one extra note. And the measure ends on beat four with a quarter note flam on the snare drum. And that will sound like this. All right, now let's take a look at the second measure. And this one's really cool because it's really a throwback to like the classic funk um, tags at the end of phrases. But it starts on beat one with an eighth note on the snare, which flows right into three upbeat hi-hat barks. These X's right here are just kind of telling you where your left foot should be coming down. The measure ends with a flam on the snare on the end after four. We're gonna hit a downbeat on the kick and crash. Now that you got this fill going, let's take it at the actual tempo of the song at 192 beats per minute. Now, one thing I want you to take a look at, and it's gonna matter if you play along with the song, is that the second measure is actually about six clicks faster than the first measure. So um, I couldn't figure out how to do that on Pro Tools, so I just kind of pushed to the front of the beat throughout this. So if it confuses you a little bit, um, go throw the song on and try to play along with that. Now let's take it at 192 beats per minute. There you go, that's five of my favorite Lars Ulrich drum fills. Now I'm sure I miss some. I'll tell you right off the bat, I wanted to throw stuff in from Master Puppets, Dyer's Eve, Blacken. I just didn't have enough time to get through it all. Maybe we need to do a part two. If I do a part two, what fills? Let me know which ones I missed. Uh, more importantly, let me know what drummers you guys would like me to cover in this type of lesson next. I think it could be a fun idea to start digging into uh, drummers like that. 
So that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and until next time, take care.